verse number 7. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all there? Amen. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Father, have your way in this place tonight. God began to move, touch lives, touch souls, touch believers. Father, those who walked in this place tonight, Lord, that doesn't know you. Maybe they walked away from you. <coughs> Father, maybe they need to be closer. Father, those that are in this place, God, they're searching for a miracle. God, they're in need of a miracle tonight. Father, we ask you, Heavenly Father, that you would move in this place. Let your anointing begin to move. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. There was one thing, amen, as, as Christians, that we ought to learn to do more of, more than anything. And that is to be anointed in everything that we do. Uh, there are moments in our life, and, and I think we all have sat under a certain thing or, or a certain person or a certain ministry, whether it's a teaching ministry or a singing ministry or a preaching ministry, maybe just somebody who's a greeter in the church, maybe an usher in the church, uh, so many different areas. But to be anointed to do the call that's on your life, that's the most major thing that we have to look for is, is to know that the anointing will move us. The anointing will drive out. The anointing will prepare us. The anointing will protect us. And the anointing will make us strong. When we, when we finally get to that understanding that when we pray, and I think we all, most of us who's been in church for a while, we distinguish that time when we prayed underneath the anointing and then when we prayed, we just prayed. Maybe there was a lot going on. Maybe we had a lot on our mind. Maybe, maybe the enemy attacked us while we was praying about our own actions or about what we might have said two days ago or about how we felt about somebody in our heart. The enemy likes to do that sometimes because, because if he can ever quench the anointing, it will stop the move of God. His number one goal is to keep you from understanding and working in the anointing. If he can stop you from working in the anointing, then things doesn't happen. Because... Here's the thing. Yes, God does answer prayer. That's, that's just a fact. That's the truth. God answers prayer. But we, as a servant of God, have got to walk underneath the anointing. We have got to, to, to be able to, to do the things that we do underneath the anointing because the anointing brings boldness. The anointing brings strength. The anointing brings a character out in you where you don't care. I was up this morning and flipped the channel on uh, TV and I was watching Good Morning America. And they had a breaking story on that said breaking news. I think it was in uh, I think it was in Dallas, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. And they said, a man steals a car and you'll never guess what happened. And they just showed clips of it and and a man stole the car and, and, and he's running from the police. He run into to another car. And, and so it just showed clippings of it and said, we're going to be right back. With the clipping of it, I saw a man get out of the van. And I said, all, all I saw was with this man taking this other man down. And I was like, ooh, that's a big old man. But when it come back and it told the story, it said, you'll never guess that when the man hit the minivan, the woman jumped out of the minivan run over and punch the man and kick the man and throw the man down and held him till the police came. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's 
right. Some of you said, you go, girlfriend. <laughs> but, it, but it showed the clipping of her husband there after she beat the man up. Her husband shows up. And he holds the man down. So, so when it showed the clipping, I'm thinking, man, this dude got out. But they said, Mama Bear broke loose. That was a big breaking story. Good morning, America. Mama Bear broke loose. And you know, sometimes underneath the anointing, this is what the enemy would like for you to see. He would like for you to see yourself. He would like to, for you to see that you are not capable. He would like for you to see that you are weak. He would like for you to see all these things. And here's the thing, when you begin to pray and the anointing begins to move on your life, what the anointing does is moves you past seeing yourself and seeing the power of Christ working in you. That was a weak hand clap, but thank you for trying. So... When we begin to pray, and I said this before I kind of uh, uh, chased a rabbit here and got cut off. We have understood, and some of us who have been serving God, we understand the difference between praying underneath the anointing and not underneath the anointing. You know, maybe just driving down the road and you get a phone call and somebody says, Oh man. I need you to pray. I'm not, this is going on and that's going on. And you're trying to get to work. you got 15 other things on your mind. You say, oh, Lord, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And, 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 you, and, and you prayed and you did your duty. And guess what? That's good. And, and don't ever stop doing that. But if we ever learn this thing right here, do we tap into that anointing power that was released from heaven? That when Jesus Christ uh, come up out of the water and he was baptized, uh, the Bible said that the heavens opened up. Uh, and the Bible said that the Holy Ghost uh, came. Uh, now listen, it's not a dove, uh, but it came in the form of a dove. Uh, what God was saying was now uh, it's time. Uh, I am releasing my power upon man. Uh, it came and sat upon his shoulders. Uh, in an autumn voice, uh, God said, uh, this is my son. Uh, who I am well pleased. And I want you to know that when the anointing begins to move in your life, that is God's gratitude towards you. Patting you on the back and saying, I am well pleased. And when God is well pleased with you and the anointing rises up in you, then things begin to happen. Then all of a sudden you change the way you're praying. All of a sudden the enemy is sitting back and he's looking at all the things that's going on and he's thinking, oh no, they just tapped into it. They just pulled it open. Now God is about to move. And so all of a sudden the phone rings. The kid cries. Some of you say, come on preacher, you're preaching now. And so if he can quench that anointing because, because the anointing is quenched so easily. And if he can quench that anointing in us, uh, we, we, we tend to, to stop or, or, or shut down. And so what he's done is his job. 